Good afternoon from scorching Southampton. I'm just gonna take in the view down here for a little bit longer. I think I've got about an hour and a half to go until kickoff, so we're here in very good time. I'm now standing right outside St Mary's. We've got just over half an hour to go until kickoff. I've also been joined by a good friend of mine, Harry Tizard, another student of the course, recently graduated or with a graduation coming up. Harry, your team is Southampton, so this is your home stadium. How exciting is it to have the Women's Euros here in the South Coast? It's absolutely fantastic. It's the biggest Women's Euros ever. It's our three games here especially. It's fantastic. The weather's brilliant and I'm really excited to see Laura Rafferty as well. She was promoting the Southampton's women's side. I'm really excited to see her. But there's everyone, loads of people here. Everyone's really positive, everyone's really friendly. It's just fantastic. Okay, so it's the start of match day two. We're here, Southampton, sunny, sunny Southampton at St Mary's for Austria Northern Ireland. Time to sign off from St Mary's then. It finished here, Austria 2, Northern Ireland nil. George, how was it from the fans' perspective in the crowd? What was the atmosphere like? It was really good actually. I think the green and white army are credit to Northern Ireland. Yeah, it's going to look like he's going to come down to the wire. Norway, Austria, that's the game to watch next week. It's England, Norway later on, so I'm sure Austria will have a keen eye on that, and so will we. So over to that game, I guess. Currently in St Mary's Uni <laughs> Media Suite, and we're going to attempt to record podcast number two. Megan here just left St Mary's Teddington, heading to Strawberry Hill Station to go to Brentford to meet fellow Derby Uni footy journalist Louise ahead of Germany Spain tonight. I've just arrived at Strawberry Hill Station and checked the train line up and my train to Twickenham, which is where you change, has actually been cancelled, so I've got to wait here for another half an hour to get the next one. cardinal sin that I kind of want to get a half and a half scarf. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've seen a guy walking out with some, so maybe. We've got some clappers, you know. Nothing. All decked out. All decked out. Are we super fans?
very sunny Kings Meadow where me, George and Pete have arrived for the Danish mixed zone and open training. Busy day today for us all. We're here bright and early. We've got some people going to the Lionesses open training and then this afternoon we've got Tom and Ollie going to the German mixed zone and open training and then tonight we have Alfie at the New York Stadium in Rotherham going to France, Belgium.